how do you start this? Hi guys, welcome to my first video. Um, my name's Daphne. Uh, so my first video is just gonna be about just me putting this face on and a fact to go with every single thing I use. So I guess it's like an introduction plus a makeup tutorial. If you wanna see me do this, then keep watching. Now I'm grabbing the NYX Photo Loving Primer and just gonna squeeze it out of my palm and dab it on the face. Yeah, I think I put a bit too much. <laughs> Whoopsies. So fact number one, I'm 18 years old. Next we have foundation. I'll be using the Bourge, Bourge, Bourgeois, 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 um, Healthy Mix Serum in the shade 53. Uh, leading on with my 18 year old um, fact, a lot of people think that my younger brother is older than me and he's two years younger than me. Even with makeup on, people still think that he's older than me. I don't know why. <laughs> and just buffing that in. Okay, so fact number two. I'm currently in university studying commerce and arts. I honestly didn't know what to do with my life. So, seeing as everything around you is a business, might as well just do that. And then arts, it's because like it covers so many things to do. So I just did arts just to, you know, test things out and see where it takes me, I guess. But I'm currently thinking of majoring in psychology. I like it so far. It's not bad, but it's only first year. I, I don't know. Next we have concealer. And I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have like terrible bag eye bags. And just flipping to the other side of the boot. Oh. Fact number three came early. I have a dog. Dennis, look. <gasps> His name is Dennis. Yeah, no matter like what concealer I use. It won't, Dennis, it won't um, conceal my under eye bags and I'm still on the hunt for something that's high coverage to conceal these damn things. Oh my god, Dennis. Next I'm grabbing the Rimmel. Dennis! What are you doing? Next I'm grabbing my Rimmel Match Perfection powder and Honestly, this like dries me out so much, but I'm just trying to use it all because I paid for it. So would not recommend. Just set your under eye. Oh, I'm, I, my skin's quite like Dennis! Don't eat it. Set where it's usually like gets oily. I don't usually get oily, my skin's quite dry, but. I'm just setting it so it stays in place. Oh my god, this is making such a mess. Uh, fact number four, I'm Chinese, but I was born and raised in Australia. Next, we've got eyebrows. Now I'm just grabbing my Colourpop dip brow pomade thing. Honestly, this is so underrated. No one really talks about it. It's pretty good for the price. I think it's like six US dollars. Well, I haven't used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade yet, so I can't really make a comparison. But this seems pretty good. Like, it makes my eyebrows look better compared to the pair. Yeah, I hate how, like, my eyelids are so... eyelids? Eyebrows are so uneven. Fact number five. I wish I was funny. How awesome would it be to make anybody laugh? Like, I, I can't do that. I'm not funny. I don't find me funny. Like, it's... I wish I was. So, next I'm grabbing my Too Faced Shadow Insurance 
primer, eyelid primer. Yeah, usually you need to shake it up because the it separates. Fact number six. Um, I'm a very last minute person. Whether that comes to studying or like being somewhere, my time management is just like terrible. I wish it could be better. Like it's totally like my fault. It's no one else's fault but mine. But I always underestimate how much time I need to get ready. Like I know it takes this like 30 minutes to 40 minutes just for my makeup. And I think I can get that my makeup and my eating done in half an hour. And it just doesn't work out and it's totally my fault. <laughs> so next I'll be using my Too Faced chocolate palette. It's honestly the best eyeshadow palette you could start off with. So I'll be just grabbing the salted caramel and then just using that as my transition shade. Next I'll be using a denser brush to grab milk chocolate and just putting that a bit lower than my than my transition shade just where my eyelid creases. <laughs> Ow. And then grabbing semi sweet. I'm just gonna put that just at the very corner. And lastly, we're grabbing the uh, flat shader brush and grabbing creme brulee and just packing that on the lids. And then finally, just blend everything out. Number seven. Okay, so my eyelids are actually uneven. Like you can't tell right now, but usually this one, this side of my, this eye, it doesn't match this. So it's like a small, smaller eyelid. This one's usually like not as double eyelid as this. If that makes sense. This one's like a smaller double eyelid. And I obviously just use like eyelid tape to like fix it and make it look slightly more even. But it sometimes just goes back to like normal. So yeah, well, my friends make fun of me that my eyelids are wrinkly <laughs> because it's like sometimes they're like triple eyelids. Okay, next we have eyeliner. <laughs> Oopsies. I'm just grabbing the... It says easy quick, but I think it's like Cleo eyeliner in dark brown. Okay, this is like the most hated part for me. It tickles my waterline. Ah, uh, oh my god, it actually, it feels so uncomfortable. People are like, you'll get used to it. Um, no, it, I've been doing makeup for like three years. And no, I am not used to it. <laughs> okay, thank god that's over. Fact number eight, I'm in a long distance relationship and this eyeline is from him, but it tickles. Next I need to curl my lashes, my Asian lashes. Fact number nine. I used to hate makeup up until grade 10 because it was so uncomfortable, like I couldn't 
like it, t it totally intimidated me until one day like my family friends friends put makeup on me and I was like oh my god this is actually pretty cool this looks pretty good <laughs> so I started to get into it so next we got mascara this is my colossal waterproof mascara it's from Maybelline and I've used it so much like all the writing has come off but I really really like this because it's waterproof and it keeps my lashes up why wouldn't it focus? my face is so big how can you not focus? can you see the difference? not really so now that mascara is done we've got to talk about fact number 10 I really enjoy sports but I'm not like particularly good at it like I've done netball, touch, softball, badminton and we played lacrosse at school one time and I really enjoyed it oh and I kind of picked up volleyball kind of but yeah I don't really look like it but yes I do like sports and I can get competitive <laughs> okay contouring so I'm grabbing my NYX contour palette because I'm too poor for the Kat Von D one but that's okay this will do for now so far I've been using it and I quite like it it's it's pretty good so I'm just grabbing the lightest shade going for a soft contour nothing too intense Well, wow, chiseled, so chiseled. Mm, mm, boom. <laughs> Fact number 11, I don't like my voice. Yeah, I mean, you've listened to this video, so it's, it's not that pleasant to listen to. And it's very croaky and deep. Nah, nah, nah. So next up, we have blush. So I'm grabbing my face of Australia blush in Hello Dolly. I don't know if they still sell this. They probably do. I haven't seen it in a while. Probably because it's not that good, but that's okay. It's not like intense at all. It's just a bit of pink. Oh yeah, I'm using a stippling brush because like it distributes the blush quite nicely and Using this as a foundation brush is like it leaves streaks everywhere and like bits of hair fall. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with that. So it's actually a really, really nice blush brush. Blush brush. Okay, so fact number 12. A lot of people think that I'm a very outgoing person and very extroverted, but in fact, I'm actually quite shy and like just around new people, I'm quite shy and scared to approach people. They thought that I would be the type who would go clubbing every weekend and stuff like that. But, no, no, not really. It's fun when it happens, but I don't go out every single weekend. So up next we have highlight, yay! Um, so I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in, this, in Sun Dipped. Um, this was totally an impulse buy, because I was at Sephora for the first time. And I was like, ah, oh, I need to get something. <laughs> Quick, go. Um, I'm grabbing the shade, shade, the shade Summer. And once again, using a foundation brush. Because I can just pat that on. And once again, this like, I don't know. Maybe it's just the brushes I have. But they're just really, really streaky. And I don't like that. Grab the shade. Find your cheekbones. and highlight wherever well was needed. <laughs> Be quiet. Close the door. You close the door. 
Okay, fact number 13. I want to be fact number 13. I have a brother. <laughs> How many subscribers do you have? Two? Yeah. No, ten! How many people care about your 25 facts, mate? Okay, next up, lips. So next we have the little lips, and I'm just grabbing the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Dopey. It's like one of my favourite shades. Fact number 14, I can roll my tongue. Such a useless fact, but I think it's cool. It's like my only talent. I can like spin my tongue 180 degrees. Oh, this is so inconvenient. I should have done this before I put the lipstick on. <laughs> Did you see that? My family friend showed me that trick like one time and I thought it was the coolest thing ever so I tried so hard to like learn how to do it I just kept doing it, practicing, practicing every single day so if you do it, practice every day you probably might be able to do it I don't know but I thought it was pretty neat oh I forgot to put eyeshadow on my under eye hold on so also grabbing a flat shader brush I'm just grabbing semi-sweet so it was the last shade I was using semi-sweet and popping that on my lower lash line to match the top I guess oh it just looks empty at the bottom I always poke my eyes finally we need to set everything so I'm grabbing the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray Makeup Setting Spray and Did I miss? You're not running out. What the? What the heck is wrong? Are you broken? The heck? <laughs> okay, not broken. What? Just what? Oh. Okay, let's go. Are you serious? There's like obviously stuff in there. Can you hear that? Can you work? Can you do your job? Okay, let's go again. Yes. <laughs> Why? Good enough. Okay, last fact. I think my makeup inspiration came from Bob's Beauty. She was kind of the reason like why I got into makeup. Like even before I was into makeup, I would watch her videos just because I thought she was really pretty. <clears throat> okay, so that concludes my first video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Learned a few things about me. And subscribe if you want. I don't mind. Do what you want. Like if you want. I don't really mind. Comment. Let me know what you think. I'll see if I'll be uploading anything else. I don't know where this is going, but... Welcome to my channel. Yeah.